Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. It's my pleasure. I feel like this month went exceptionally fast. So yeah. I do have a few TV documentaries that I did want to tell you guys about. So I'll just tell you their names now and then I will link them below if you want to check them out on Netflix. The first one is What the Health, which is, you know, kind of the same as all of the other Go Vegan documentaries. It's a little bit different in how it's presented, but it was really enjoyable and I do think that they kind of presented some really great points. And they do look into things like which brands support different medical boards. So like say um, Susan G. Komen are sponsored by a yogurt company that's maybe not the best for breast cancer. So yeah, it goes into a lot of things like that as well as um, showing a bunch of vegans who are doing great. So it's definitely a really good documentary. I know that's kind of been what a lot of people have been watching recently and kind of making the switch. So I did want to mention that one. Also, if you're already vegan, you get to watch it and feel like, mm -mm, I'm already there. The next one is one that I can't remember how you pronounce. Okia? Okia? Ok Okja? It's kind of like if you took the meat industry and made a kind of twisted fairy tale movie about it. Definitely kind of sad, but a great one no less. And then the other one is a series, which I have not finished yet, please do not spoil it for me, which is Ozark, which one of my online pals told me about. So it's kind of Jason Bateman money laundering. That's all you need to know. It's a great one. Definitely a great show. Adam and I have both been kind of addicted to it, so we are working our way through that right now. All of those will be linked below if you want to check them out, as well as all the stuff I'm about to tell you about. So let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to mention were Kipris products. I do have a blog post on them, so I'll link that below. So Kipris are a very high-end, more natural skincare brand. They have very effective products, which have much more natural ingredients in them, which I think is awesome. Like I said, I will link that blog post below, but I'll just kind of tell you a little bit about them now. One of them I have is the Antioxidant Dew. It says drenched skin with ocean extracts and herb derived antioxidants, phospholipid encapsulated superoxide dismutase, you know the one, but vitamins C and E and an array of botanicals love on your complexion. Use as a hydration layering piece in your skincare wardrobe which is exactly how I've been using it but I also will use it by itself if I don't want to have like too much on my skin. So I'll use this in the daytime after I've done like my cleansing and toning then I'll apply this and then you can put a moisturizer on top and then at nighttime I've been using the Moonlight Catalyst which they kind of dubbed as the alternate to retinol products and you guys know I do love my retinol serum but I have been switching this out at night time and using this. I think you could probably get the same effects with this as with retinol. Of course, I haven't done like lab testing of both, but I do think using this one, it may take a little bit longer, but I think it will be more gentle on your skin. So sometimes when you start to use retinol, you will have some peeling and your skin can kind of react to it, which I don't believe you will get with the Kipris one. So I think if you have been kind of curious about retinols, but maybe you have very sensitive skin or maybe you just don't want to use chemical stuff, this is a really wonderful alternate. I mean, and you don't need to use too much either. So although these are expensive products, you really only need to use a few drops of each. So I do think that they last quite well and I've definitely been loving those too. And then another one which I have the smaller size of from them is the Beauty Elixir One, which is made of a thousand roses. So this is kind of more of a facial oil. You need to use a lot less of this on the skin. You can layer it over those other products or you can mix it in. One thing I do enjoy is that when you put the antioxidant dew on your hand, it's white. And then if you put like a couple drops of this, in the middle it's kind of a yellowy color and it looks like a little fried egg in your hand cute what a terrible vegan super nourishing facial oil i think this stuff is beautiful i've already used a fair amount because i'm kind of obsessed with it so really really great skincare products way more natural very luxe high-end effective kind of botanical based products. So definitely check out their website. They also just seem like the owner and the brand kind of ethos is really beautiful. So yeah, love them. And uh, check out that blog post if you're interested. All right, let's see. Another skincare brand I wanted to mention was Complex Beauty. So they sent me a selection of their face masks. I'm not sure if everything they have is vegan or not, but of course check their website just to make sure. But they sent me six of their face masks as well as their Afterglow Complexion Mist. So we'll talk about this one first. So this is an AHA facial mist. AHA is alpha hydroxy acid, which is a kind of chemical exfoliator, we'll say. But this is also a facial mist too, so it's quite nice and nourishing. I I love to use this on my skin if I just want to feel like a bit more awake or have my skin feel a bit tightened. 
One thing I will say is I do um, cover my eyes when I use it just because I do tend to get dermatitis on my eyelids and I don't want anything to kind of, you know, irritate that. So I do cover my eyes, but I don't think you necessarily have to. And with AHA, you do want to be careful about sun exposure as well. So if you're going to use this, be sure to either use it at night or make sure you use a really good SPF. So I've definitely been loving that. And another way that I use it is if I'm going to do a spot treatment on my skin, like a mud mask or something, once I remove it, I'll spray a bit of this onto a cotton ball and just wipe it over the area and I feel like it kind of gets in there a little bit more and kind of you know sloughs off any dead yucky stuff so really do like this facial mist and I don't have an AHA facial mist so if you're a bit of a facial mist obsessive you might want to check this one out like I said they did send six of the face masks so they sent their rose glow glycolic mask which is to revitalize exfoliate brighten and firm they all look completely different too which is kind of interesting so this one is kind of like a clear jelly substance does smell like a beautiful natural rose scent. Definitely been loving this one. I've used this one a few times now. It kind of helps to tighten the skin up. Like I definitely feel like this one is quite tightening. Let's say it's firming. So although the glycolic is obviously going to give you a little bit of exfoliation, I feel like there is definitely some firming or tightening effects with this one. Do really like that one. The next one is the Godmother Enzyme Mask. This one is to replenish, exfoliate, nourish and brighten. This one is like a little pumpkin pie. You may have seen me with this on, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I want to eat it. You may have seen me with this one on like Snapchat or something. Do really love this one. And I know that pumpkin enzyme is meant to be quite a kind of um, exfoliating and brightening. So I've only used this one once or twice, I think, but I did really like it. Then there is the Ocean Potion Mineral Mask. This one is to regenerate, balance and heal. So if you have kind of breakout prone skin or just like a mess of all different you know, skin types on your face like I do. I really like this one because it kind of deals a little bit with everything. It doesn't really smell of much and it is much more of a creamy consistency and it really, really reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess, what's it called, Goddess face mask, whatever her face mask is. Really reminds me of that one. I feel like it gives a fairly similar effect. This one's probably a lot cheaper. <clears throat> Next there is the Baby Face Purity Mask, which is to refine, hydrate, soften, and clarify. This one's kind of like a runny charcoal mask. Doesn't really smell of anything. And I've only used this one once and I did like it, but I just don't really have anything like mind blowing to say about that one specifically. And then there's the Thirst Quencher Hydra Mask, which is to hydrate, plump, and smooth. This one is probably one of my favorites. It's a kind of slightly blue jelly. Very nice and refreshing on the skin. And I do believe this one has hyaluronic acid. A bunch of them have like really awesome ingredients. And like I said, I do think this one has hyaluronic, which would fit with the Hydrate Plump and Smooth because that is what hyaluronic is good at. So this one is really nice to use before you're gonna do like a full face of makeup or if your skin is feeling just kind of dry and drab or maybe you've not been taking the best care of it. Really do recommend this one. This is again, one of my top ones. And then lastly, we have the Smooth Operator antioxidant mask. This one is to detox, repair, youth, preserve, and nourish. So again, this one does a little bit of everything. It smells really good. Again, did really like that one, but I've only used it once, so I don't have any uh, specific info to give you on it. Overall, I've been super impressed with them, and I think I have a discount code, which I will link for you below if you are interested. I feel like that PR package specifically arrived at like a really good time for me because my skin has been kind of freaking out a little bit, just from like stress, eating some sugary things when I typically don't eat sugar. Now I remember why, because it gives me giant under the skin zits. Anyway, these arrived at a really good time for me and it's really been helping to encourage me to take a little bit more self-care or me time. And I've really been enjoying all of them. I don't really have anything bad to say about any of them. There are just, like I said, the couple where I'm like, wow, this one is awesome. So I've been using those a little bit more. Really been loving these masks and I've been using them about daily. So they've definitely helped to get my skin back into good shape after I've kind of been neglecting myself. So thank you. Complex Beauty, I appreciate you so much. Oh, and I do apply those masks with my Leolani face mask brush. It's just like a nice little brush that is intended for face masks. So I'll link that for you below as well. So following on from my crappy skin issues, something I did want to mention, um, which has probably been in a million videos before, is the Osea Essential Corrective Complex. This is something I've just been using solely on breakouts. It just has a selection of really awesome oils in, so it's a little bit more natural of a spot treatment. By the time this video goes out, I should have my um, video on different spot treatments or skincare for breakout prone skin, so I will link that if you're interested. This will be in there. But it has jojoba, macadamia, tea tree, rosemary, lavender, thyme, 
lime, a bunch of really awesome oils that are not only going to help deal with the breakout but help you heal quicker from it too. So I've really been enjoying this. You need to use the tiniest amount. It is a little rollable so definitely use it on clean skin and yeah it's a really lovely spot treatment. Really been enjoying that. Then I wanted to mention a couple of products from Juice Beauty. I have had a lot of questions from you guys on whether I would do a kind of brand focus video on Juice Beauty or you know a video like that. I just don't have enough from them to do that right now but if there are any products that you are curious about let me know and I will try and grab them on Petit Vor and make that video for you but I do have two products here from them which <laughs> I love. Let's do the skincare first. This is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Essence. <laughs> I kind of thought the essences were just a stupid extra skincare step, but this has really truly changed my mind. Let's talk about the smell first, shall we? It smells like, you know those really gorgeous summery cocktails that have like mint, cucumber, apple, like all those like really fresh green scents? It smells like that. It smells like a beautiful green summery cocktail. That's all I can think of. Makes me really want to have a cocktail. So it's kind of like a very runny lotion slash water. I like to apply this in the morning and at night. So how I use it in the morning is I will put my salicylic acid on, let that sink in completely. Then I apply a little bit of this. And then I will follow that up with the antioxidant dew and a moisturizer. I have been using much more skincare lately and layering it. And I found that my skin has really been loving it. So that's just what I'm working with right now. And then at nighttime, I will apply this. Then I'll either apply my retinol or my moonlight catalyst or just see how my skin is feeling. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this. I feel like it has firmed up my skin a lot while also giving it some hydration and glow. I'm not sure technically what this is meant to do, but I have been loving it and I feel like it's kind of helped my skin be a little bit more balanced and just more glowing. So if you are interested in adding a kind of essence or extra step into your skincare routine, I do think this is beautiful and I think it would be really good for all skin types because it seems to just kind of overall help my skin. So really been loving this. And then the other item from them, which I talked about in my Petit Vore haul video, which I'll also link for you, is the Juice Beauty Last Looks Blush in Orange Blossom, which I have on today. It just gives you the most gorgeous, glowy, juicy looking cheeks. I think this stuff is beautiful for summer. I think it's great for if you don't really want to wear much other makeup. It also works really great with a ton of other makeup. I don't have anything bad to say about this. The only thing is if you are very oily, like extremely oily, you might not like this just because it is quite glowy already and does have a kind of almost like a slight balmy texture to it. I am oily combo, but I still love it. But if you are very, very oily, you may not like this and it might not show up very much on your skin you may have to touch it up a lot but I should have a video out on cream products cream based products so if that is out already I will link it for you somewhere but I have just been really loving this if you like cream blushes I would really recommend checking out this line they have a bunch of different colors but like I said this one is orange blossom so a couple more makeup bits one of them which was also featured in a recent video which was my eye of Horus logical harmony video is the brow what's this called fiber extend so it's like a fiber mascara for your brows. So definitely check out that video if you want to see it in action, but I've just been loving it. I've got it in the color Ash Blonde, which I believe is also Husk. Hold your brows in place, tints them nicely, and then the fibers just kind of like get in line with your brow hairs and it looks just great, I love it. I would say if you don't have any brow at the moment, this may not be the right one for you, but if you do have even just sparse brows and you want to kind of thicken them up and build the hair up a little bit, really recommend trying this and I've been reaching for it daily. A lot of the time I've just been wearing this, I haven't been feeling my brows in at all. So if you have been seeing me on Snapchat with fairly natural looking makeup, I've probably been just wearing this on my brows. And not only does it thicken up what you already have, but if you kind of touch it to the skin over any gaps, it kind of like works as a, you know, brow pomade or whatever as well. So yeah. Two brushes I wanted to mention, both from Alima Pure. These are just beautiful. I love the weight of them. They look nice. I feel like the handle is a reasonable size. I love that this one is a bit more chunky at the ferrule. Anyway, these brushes. This one is their foundation brush. Nice big size. I've used this for powders or creams. I actually used it for this complete cream look today. It just makes everything so easy because it's so big. I don't know, it takes like, you know, a couple swipes and you're done basically. So I've really been loving this. And again, for powders or creams, this one is just amazing. And it's definitely one I've been reaching for on the daily. And then the other one is their Soft Focus. So this is really nice to apply light kind of dustings of setting powder. If you do like to use bigger brushes like this for blush, this would be really nice too. It gives you a lighter coverage because it is that kind of duo fiber brush. So yeah, if you are looking for new base product brushes, really 
really recommend checking these out. Their eye brushes are gorgeous as well, but these two are just definitely some I've been reaching for on the daily. Moving on to hair, this was also in my Petit Vore haul. It's the Rahua Defining Hairspray. It's a medium hold, vegan, gluten-free, and 90% natural, and I've been obsessed with this. I have a bunch of it in my hair today, which is why my hair is kind of a little texturized, a little fluffy. If you like a really tousled bedhead look, this stuff is beautiful. You can see me use it for the first time in that video I mentioned where I was like, whoa. So yeah, I've really been enjoying it. It does make your hair kind of a tiny bit crisp, but if you do brush it out, that kind of goes away. I kind of like it being a little crisp on the ends just to give you a bunch of texture and kind of like grit. Sorry guys, my camera keeps cutting out. I'm not entirely sure why. Anyway, I've been loving this hairspray. If you have fine hair and you want a lot of texture and body, or whether you have very slinky hair and you find it hard to get that kind of gritty texturized effect, I do think this stuff is awesome. Of course, I can't say how it would work for very thick hair or very curly hair because mine is kind of, kind of a tight wave naturally and I have a lot of very fine hair, but it just works so well for me. It gets me nice and messy, bedheady. I love it. So I'm definitely going to check out some more of their products. They are, like I said, on Petit Vore and I'll probably pick up a couple more. So if you would eventually like to see a new hair product video, let me know. I'd love to make that for you. I do have a food item I wanted to mention, which is the Koyo Coconut Yogurt. I really like it because it's not super sweet. It's kind of a bit like Greek yogurt and it has that little bit of sour taste to it. It's really awesome, delicious. I like it because it is a little bit more on the um, neutral side. It's not super sweet. I don't like super sweet yogurt. And I do think it's something you could use in sweet or savory dishes too. So I had to mention that because I have been loving that. And I've been making a lot of parfaits with it lately. Mm. Okay, and then the last thing that I also eat are the Thorn Research Deproloft capsules. <laughs> now, okay, if you are new here, you may not know, but I've had mental health issues my whole life. I've made several videos on it, which goes into a ton of detail, more detail than you could ever possibly need about my mental health. At the end of last year, I stopped taking an antidepressant, which I have been on for years and years. I've been medicated on and off since I was a teen, but this most recent time where I've not been medicated, it's been very difficult. I found it really hard to even get my basic amount of work done, and um, I decided I was going to try out some different supplements and stuff. I did take a B complex, which I do think was really helpful in that situation because obviously your brain is adjusting to a completely new, you know, like chemical balance or imbalance in my case. The awesome lady I go see, probably I should go more often for acupuncture, she recommended this. Like I said, it's from Thorn Research. I also use their probiotics and it's called Deproloft HF. So this is essentially meant to be like a kind of like an antidepressant or anxiety or stress related medicine as far as I can tell but I will link it below so you can read up more on it. It has some incredible ingredients in it so it has a bunch of vitamins and then it also has some kind of herbally or natural antidepressant ingredients so I'll just tell you what's in it. There is vitamin C, B6, folate, um, B12, pantothenic acid, I like to call that pantera acid, and iodine. And then for the other stuff, it has L-tyrosine, 5-HTP, eleuthero extract, which I'm not familiar with, and then it has uh, gamma aminobutric acid, which is GABA, you may have heard of that, rhodiola extract. So I ordered these. I noticed then that it says you have to take two capsules two times daily and I was like, that is too much. Uh, that's stupid of me. I do definitely think I have noticed a difference when I've been taking these regularly. So I take two in the morning and then I take two like evening time. I felt that I am much more able to not obsess over things quite so much. Like if you also have anxiety, you know what I mean? Like the smallest thing could happen. It might not even be necessarily a bad thing, but then you obsess over it all day in your head and it's exhausting. I feel like I've not been doing quite so much of that. I also felt like I kind of got like a warm, relaxed sensation in my chest when I started taking these. I think probably because I was just so anxious and depressed when I started that there probably was like a little bit of like tension relief. As with pharmaceutical stuff for mental health, it can sometimes be hard to tell whether you are just cycling through your normal cycle and you might get depressed again in the end or is it really helping? But regardless, I did want to tell you guys because I know that a lot of you, I kind of talked about this a bit on Instagram, a lot of you were really curious about some of those other supplements you can take like rhodiola and GABA and this does have both of those in as well as a bunch of other really good vitamins which are great for kind of general health as well as mental health. So I did want to mention this. Of course I can't say has it changed my brain chemistry but I do feel like I've not been obsessing over things so much. I don't feel quite so terribly low and depressed and I just feel like my brain is functioning better 
as a whole because I think when you are very depressed and anxious you kind of like lose all sense of what a healthy brain is or feels like until you then have a break from that which I feel like I'm currently having touch wood so yeah I did want to mention those I mean as with everything else might not be something you're interested in but for those of you that might be interested I've really been liking this and I'm definitely going to continue to take them oh and then lastly I do actually have some fashion stuff I want to show you which are unreal fur jackets now I know it's summer here but they are so beautiful. They are an Australian brand that makes cruelty-free fur coats. So there's no fur involved. It's completely synthetic. And the couple of jackets they sent me are so beautiful. It makes me want to lounge around in my house in my underwear and one of those and nothing else. And just maybe smoke a really long cigarette. But not really because that shit will kill you. I do think they're beautiful if you are on the lookout for a fake fur jacket. They also have other stuff on there too, I think. They are so beautiful. I love the colours. I love the cuts. They feel so soft. I know some people who are vegan or maybe cruelty free don't understand the idea of wearing fake leather or fake fur, which is absolutely fine. You do you. But if you are interested, that is where I got them from. Unreal Fur. Mm, beautiful. So I think that's it for this video. I kind of felt like I didn't have a lot to show you, but I feel like that was a good amount. I will have everything linked and listed below as always. Oh, my shirt, in case you're interested, is from uh, Leah Kirsch. Kirsch, I think that's how you say it. I'll link that below for you too. Oh, wait. I did have one other thing I did want to mention. I've mentioned this as a favorite before. This is the Red Apple Lipstick Lip Liner in Natural. If you have recently asked me what I've had on my lips, if they've looked kind of like this, like extra big and pouty, it's because I've just been wearing lip liner. So I line my lips, I overline them. That's why they look a lot bigger up here and kind of poutier down there. It's because I've overlined the crap out of them. And then I just fill the whole lip in with that too. And it lasts a lot longer than like a lipstick or whatever, because obviously pencils are a bit drier. They're going to last longer. And I love the color. I love how it makes my lips look. So I have just been wearing that alone. <coughs> I am going to go now before I choke and die. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. If you have any other questions or if you think I've like missed anything or haven't listed something for you, um, let me know in the comments. All my social media will also be in the description box if you would like to find me elsewhere. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.